is your Sonicast. And it ain't meant for kids. Sonic G, DC, and Lex Jones discuss a couple of topics that you didn't hear on the Sonic G Morning Show. Y'all are tuned in to the Sonicast. Got uh, your girl Sonic G, of course, DC. Yeah, what's happening? Lex Jones. Yeah. <laughs> and Ricky Antonio is in the building. What's up with it? What's up? So my producer was trolling through social media, right? That's what he does. And he scrolling, not trolling. I'm scrolling. No, no trolling. She had it right the first time. Yeah, it's fine. And he uh, ran across your Cinco de Mayo E40 uh, okay, okay. celebration video. And he was like, yo, we got to have this cat Ricky Antonio is so he could, you know, do his E40 thing and talk to us about, you know, what he's got going on as far as career wise and whatnot. So although, that. DC, I enjoy your your pretty shitty uh, E40 impression. Hold on a second. Why we well, got, go what ahead. happened to me? Let's let you do it. And then let's let Ricky Antonio do it and see who's better. Well, I'm not a, I'm not a professional. I just got the words, you know what I mean? Because okay, I know go. my weebleization out there, you feel me? You know the dick, you smell. You know? <laughs> All right. Let's, hey, let's hear you do it. Hey, man, after you, I hear you over there, man. You do it. You're third, man. I just want to say, stay at it, man. This take years, man. I got to slide the glasses down so they know it's legitimate, man. <laughs> <laughs> he for real did slide his glasses down though I and mean, also had the hand just just going just yeah, like uncle earl <laughs> gotta, gotta flick them fingers hey, one time man, flick man got a booger on the bag <laughs> <laughs> when did you even start doing this were y'all just sitting man. around joking one day you were like i could do better than right. you and just start it off man kind of like that yeah just me and my guys always joking around I always been a jokester in school kind of playing around it imitating people was kind of like one of my passions just kind of see if i can match their cadence and just how they talk and his mannerisms and and 40 is just like so different than right. any other human being on the earth <laughs> it just it makes it so fun no matter what you say is fun and it sounds different like abuela and just you just jump into it one time just you know what I mean? without even thinking it is just a whole different thing so it's always been hella fun <laughs> We be talking about something serious, <laughs> right. like jump into early, make everything more interesting, man. <laughs> she, she hit you with one of them. We're just in the car, sir. Right, right, right. Ricky, <laughs> Rick, Rick, we're right. just in the car. I need to talk to Ricky right now. <laughs> right. Like, oh, man, you get Earl, man. You get what you get, right? <laughs> you get what you get, right? Let's jump from 40 to 50, because I heard you do Curtis, too. Curtis, I ain't really did Curtis. It's been a well while since I really... <laughs> <laughs> I ain't really even tried to do Curtis. Like, see, what don't make sense. See, Fat Joe, he just... He just, I love you, man. He cool, but you just, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I ain't really trying to do fit. Nah, you, nah, you got the, you got the chuck a lot of Lex Jones. That means it's official because uh, that's nah. his peoples. I need to work on it a little bit. I've worked practice on it, man. Just don't open your jaw. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's <laughs> like the key to it. Gotta just, keep it like it's a trap door with it, man. You gotta, you, you gotta look at the money and count it again. Come on, Banks. Come on, Banks. You better than this, man. Y'all feel like you're watching Power right now. <laughs> you're tuned in to the Power cast. All right. A little power, man. Get you a little. Power, you feel me? <laughs> They're coming the glasses down. The glass, well, the glasses slot is legit, right? The eyes got to be real too. The eyes got to be low. You feel me? That's that's the key to everything, man. Key to success. Shout out, Khaled. Ugh. <laughs> Right R- Ricky Antonio sitting in on the uh, Sonic cast. So you do, do you do these videos like for every holiday? Because I know you just did a Mother's Day one too. Man, that's something, right, right, right. That's something I'm starting to peep that, you know, the little uh, going with the kind of theme kind of thing is kind of working. So yeah, I've been kind of doing it for the holidays and kind of just exploring and seeing how people kind of gravitate to it. And Mexican E-40 was just a random thing. We sitting around on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> But this is kind of how we think. Like, I kind of, my mind kind of works in, in the frame of, uh, like, comedies and skits and stuff like that. So, like, when I'm sitting around, I'm always thinking of how to flip something and make it funny. How can it How can it be good? Even when I did the Mexican E-40, I wasn't sure. I'm like, babe, is this funny? Like, is this, this going to make people laugh? Like, sometimes I still <laughs> doubt, like, a perfectionist. But then when I released it, the reception was just, it was just crazy. It's been wild. Yeah. I mean, how could it not be funny to just cop <laughs> even when he does it? And you know, you heard what you heard from DC. Hey, hey, let's get off me today. You I'm know just what I mean? saying, like, I, even I, when he does it, it's like <laughs> funny to hear because you said like forty is so different from right. anybody else to try right. to mimic him off top. Even right. the attempt exactly. is hilarious. So, but you got it pretty much down though. I appreciate it. Yeah, I was watching. Uh, I like I like just his phrases, man. He a legend for one, and then. Uh, Yesterday, I think on his Snapchat, he was like, man, you got to put ketchup on your fries, man. And I was like, damn, I don't know what that really means. But I feel enlightened. Like, I feel like 
I feel like my whole being was just enlightened, bro. Like <laughs> it could mean so hey, many different it, things, ketchup. but right. but also really right. just means you put, put some ketchup, ketchup on hey, your fries. It makes it better, delicious. Man. <laughs> Enhance them things, man. <laughs> we eat no plain fries, man. So are you just focusing on like doing like the skit stuff and online or are you trying to hop off and do some comedy in some different ways, maybe hit a stage or something like that sometime? Yeah. Uh well stand up is something I've kinda always thought about, but it's not anything like I seriously consider I, I consider myself more of a like an on screen kind of comedian mm-hmm. dude. I'm way more comfortable like in front of the camera than I am like standing on top of some on a stage trying to make people laugh. Right. Like, one day I might get there, but right now I'm kinda not this kind of uh, the kind of the age we live in now, like you can kind of win just online with the with the little yeah, videos. For and, real. You know, some, and you end up up here talking to y'all. Some people I listen to, you know, every morning on the way to my little whack job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up here chilling and chopping it up with y'all, man. Yeah. Just all some off of Instagram. You know what I mean? So yeah, but yeah. And I do I do music too. That's one of my biggest things. It's like do a lot of production, a lot of writing and singing, and got my own little setup in at the house. And I do a lot of uh, a lot of music. Yeah. I'm hearing that you uh, drive Uber, too. Oh, yeah. Man. You're a personal driver. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah yes. I actually drive Uber as well. Yep. And I had a, uh, a Uber comedy series, actually. You did? Yeah. And uh, Snoop Dogg had posted. That was one of my first biggest posts, man. Uh, what was that, like last year or two years ago now? About two years ago, Snoop had posted on his Instagram, and that was kind of big. I had my watermark on there, so it really didn't mean nothing as far as <laughs> I mean, But still, you knew that was you. You live and you right. learn, brother. Right. You, you live and you right. learn. I'm looking at all the comments like, oh, I appreciate it. But y'all know who the hell I am. You should have tagged and said it's me, but I'm sure doing, you did. I did a plenty of that. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> plenty of that. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Uh, but, yeah, I actually do drive Uber, man. Uber is like, Uber's actually, driving Uber's amazing. I actually really enjoy it. I'm a people person. I like to talk. I like to, like, you know, find out people's stories and stuff like that. So, like, one time I was actually driving one of the coaches from the Warriors. I didn't even know it at first. It was, uh, his name is Bruce. Mm. Bruce. And he was in the car and they was talking about the Warriors and they was talking on firm that first name basis. So I'm like, you know, they sound familiar. You know what I mean? Familiar. I got to say, hold on. Let me Do say it. <laughs> <laughs> it the same leak story, out. but ask 40. It's going to sound way more interesting than what? <laughs> so, look, I'm driving Uber, right? And I got the boy Bruce. Bruce in the back, right? He's talking to the homeboy. And the homeboy, they talking about just the words, but on first name basis. I said familiarity. First thing popped in my mind. You feel me? <laughs> and then... Bruce, I say, man, you coach the Warriors. He like, hell yeah, man. You say it like that, but he sound more interesting when I say it like that. You feel me? And then, so, yeah, man, Bruce gave me free tickets every day. He ain't really do that, but yeah, Bruce was hella cool. <laughs> Bruce is cool people, man. Shout out to Bruce wherever he's at. And about those free tickets, you right. know what I'm saying? Ricky you gave you a little me? bit hey, of plug now, so we up? you don't need you to run those, my you man. Feel me. So what's, uh, I want to hear another Uber story because I'm one of those weirdos that'll jump in an Uber, which I take mm-hmm. to the airport or if I'm going to go drinking or something like that, I'll make sure I, I'm going to be all right. right. But I love to ask like the Uber drivers, what's the craziest thing that you've had happen Man. in the car? Just a funny story that sticks out in your mind. And I've heard some crazy oh, stuff. <laughs> My God. Yeah, man. Uh, Uber's a trip because sometimes like, like one time I had this uh this drunk guy. He was like like super super duper drunk. <laughs> That's just how they always start. Man, too, right? right? And like <laughs> his girl actually like had to like put him in the car, and I'm just like, damn, like this gonna be crazy. But but she <laughs> his bro was talking about like I'm gonna give you a big tip. So I'm like, okay, we good. Like, I deal with his behavior. Whatever he got going, as long as he don't throw up. You know what I mean? Then we go to a whole other level. But as long as we don't throw up, I deal with your behavior till we get there. We get to the house, man. Mind you, it's like one in the morning on like a Saturday. You feel me? So I'm we in uh Daly City, and then bro knocked out because like he really, really drunk. And so I'm trying to wake him up, and I'm like, but I don't want to touch him because I don't, you know, what I mean, I don't want to go there with it. So I'm like, hey, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Wake up. And then bro just knocked. <laughs> and so so I had to put my paws on bro, woke you up a little bit. He was shocked, like, where am I? I'm like, bro, you with your Uber driver, just to, you know, let you know where you at. And then he woke up. He said he was going to give me a big tip, so I'm waiting for it. He had me about $3. Man, you can't believe no drunk fool about <laughs> exactly. giving you no tip. I'm thinking he's drunk. He might give me more. You feel me? It's either you're going to give more or <laughs> right, less. Right. Like, right. Right. So I got like $3, and bro got out. What? After like 15 minutes to try to wake him up. Uh, you should have just told him, you told me you was going to give me a big tip. Right. You're here. Exactly. But he, he, wasn't, he wasn't coherent, man. I was like, bro, just gone, bro. Like, well, well, first and foremost, I'd like to apologize because I don't even live in Daly City. And I wish I would have gave you more money that night. And also, that wasn't my girl. <laughs> also, that so, wasn't my girl. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, I didn't even recognize you when I walked <laughs> in. Man. That's terrible. Look a little different, right? Just stuck the haircut or something. Hand him a 20 now, DC. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> 
I take it, yeah. Man, it's a it's not an easy game doing the comedy thing, man. It's man, like being right. an artist and whatnot. So, right. but you're right though when you say that social media can lift you mm-hmm. to the spot where you need to be in. Really, you could do what you're doing at your house in the studio, or whatnot, and not have to move and have checks coming in. Yeah, that's so real. that's a good plan. That's real. And I also work with the youngsters, man. I work a lot in my community of Richmond. I work at uh, a lot of the schools around there. Just I'm a security guard. I work with the kids, and I also do after school program teaching them how to make beats. Teaching them how to express themselves through music, you know what I mean? Just trying to shine a light in the city I come from and the things I've been through, and try to, you know, relate to these youngsters and give them some hope in the community. Yeah. Have you put out um some music? Or? Yeah, I did. I actually just put a new song called "Few Morals." Mm. I also got a song called "Can I Get a Water Though." It's out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 we gonna ride this one, man. <laughs> hey, so uh, yeah, it's uh, on the SoundCloud. I, I'm Ricky Antonio on everything. I am Ricky Antonio. Yep. Yeah. All right. Come up, yo. Yeah. I love about, hey, one thing I love about 40 is everything's so abstract. So it could be, <laughs> it's up in the air. It could be a couple of years from now. <laughs> it's up in the air, man. I love it. Well, man, I give you, you know, all the props. So you just got to stay strong with it. Keep doing it. I mean, like you said, you know, just off him seeing one of your videos, yeah. he was like, we got to talk to this dude, Ricky Antonio. It, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, you're out of the Bay. You're, you're mimicking a Bay Area legend. legend so. Legend, man. But expand on that, though. Keep growing. Appreciate do other, it. like, do you have other artists and, like, actors or anybody that you're trying to think of maybe start trying to do their voice, yeah, some too? stuff I just got to just kind of work on. And mm. I've just been focusing on the 40 and just music and stuff. So I, I got some guys I got to tighten up, yo. That's tight. I'm actually going to tighten up on the 50. I've never really actually done that until right now. Like Now, this cat Lex like Jones is cool with, with 50. And I, I think when he... <laughs> That's a good impression. I'm gonna have to call the homie. Like, oh, yeah. hey man, somebody's out here and he got you down back. There we go. There we go. Hey, I gotta work on that one. That's next. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well, Ricky Antonio, man, I appreciate you sitting in on the Sonicast. I'm really grateful for y'all having me, man. I really appreciate this. Where I'm from, dreams like this don't come true, man. And I'm just thankful and grateful. Well, it's up to you. Make it happen, baby. Appreciate it. All right. So uh, I appreciate everybody being tuned in. DC Lex in the house. Make sure you're tuned in for the Sonic G Morning Show every day of the week, 6 to 10. If you hear anything you want to check out, make sure you go to my blog. Click on Sonic G right there at cameo.com and make sure you subscribe to the Sonicast right there on yeah. iTunes. Hit the button.